out. I've just come off air and I am running to Soho. It's freezing. I'm running to Soho to a carol concert in Dean Street. Um, and it's for the animal charity All Dogs Matter. I'm meeting Anna there. I'm late, it's already started. So I'll only get there to see the end of it. But I'm running. Um, it's so cold but I have got my Stella McCartney flat warms and they're so comfy, I can run in them. Look at the Langham. So I'm right in the heart of Soho. I missed the carols, but I saw some of um, the activities, All Dogs Matter. And look at this little doggy here. Who's this? This is Mario. Mario, has he been in a church before? Oh, yes, yes. He likes the French church particularly. He does love the French. Yeah. I like the French church yeah. as well. I'm going to race off. It's lovely to see you. Oh, what a lovely, lovely evening. So, that's it. I'm coming out now onto Dean Street in Soho and I'm going to run home because I'm absolutely starving and guess what everybody it's starting to snow it's starting to snow go on Murty go on go on you go in there and I'll give you your dinner later I've just been up on the roof it is so cold and I have got my pyjamas on under my coat. Um, I'm going to feed Myrtle in a moment, but I'm going to get my own supper ready, first of all. It is absolutely freezing, but it's lovely and warm in here. I have actually got a ring light on. I never use lights, ever use... <laughs> Stop fiddling with your hair. Never use lights, but I, I honestly think you will be able to see me properly. Even th with these on, it is so dark. I don't usually film at night. Um, so, look. Look, 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 look. Usually, when you see this, you know that I am entertaining because I live on my own. When I entertain, I usually order in HelloFresh. In fact, more and more people now say, oh, I'm having a HelloFresh night. I'm having a HelloFresh night. I, everybody, I'm having a HelloFresh night all on my own. Yes, it is perfect if you live on your own, truly. Um, right, let me just tell you, if you don't know what HelloFresh is, you can't be watching influencers. We all use HelloFresh. Let me just get my... Um... HelloFresh is a food, a meal delivery service, should I say, and you literally just go on to the HelloFresh app, you download the app, and then you order for how many people you want, how many meals you want, whether you want vegetarian, whether you want fish, whether you want meat, whether you want luxuries, that get premium meals. I don't, I never go for premium meals. This time I've ordered three meals. One because Anna is coming over tomorrow and um, we're going to have honey and soy glazed duck breast. I love duck. I know I say I'm semi-vegetarian, it doesn't wash, does it? I love duck, um, and um, I probably eat meat twice a year. I'll eat it at Christmas, but I love duck, especially when it looks like that. That's with Anna. She's coming over tomorrow. This I ordered for a night like this because it's just for me. It is spiced chickpea and pepper tray bake the easiest thing in the world to do just for me it's for two people but i will save half and have half for lunch tomorrow i'll just go to warm it up in the oven i know they probably say no you can't do that i can do that i'll warm everything up so um this looks so easy and for a winter's night 
just on my own. It is all I need. So no fun and games, no one joining me tonight, just me. Best thing about HelloFresh, by the way, if you're new to HelloFresh, this is the time you need to order it because there's a fantastic discount. So um, it tells you how many minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, um, it then tells you what you need from your pantry. I have, you, as you know, two saucepans, no bowls, very few spoons, nothing in my pantry, but I probably have this. It says, uh, what do I need? A kettle, a sieve, garlic press, baking tray, aluminium, bowl. Right, I don't have bowls, I don't have a garlic press, but it doesn't matter because you could just work it out for yourself. You just ascent the ingredients you need. There is no waste. And how many steps? Six steps. Always six steps. So simple. And with the challenge is, will it look like this at the end? Okay. First we'll be turning the oven on. Preheat your oven. Off we go. Time lapse. Philippe, time lapse. Couscous, pepper, chives, tomatoes, chickpeas, red pepper chilli, vegetable stock. Myrtle, are you not proud? Look at that. If you could smell this kitchen, it smells beautiful. So let's compare. This is spiced chickpea and pepper tray bake. And what we have, oh my gosh, it is so simple. We have couscous with pesto. We have baked tomatoes. We have a wonderful... Uh, jam, a chilli jam over the baked peppers. We have chickpeas and then we have a natural yoghurt with chives and pesto on a bed of pesto couscous. Can you believe that? And can I just say everybody, can I just tell you that there is enough for two. So I have another plate of this, which I'm gonna pop into the fridge and I will eat tomorrow as a salad because, gosh, my camera's wobbling, sorry, because this is a meal for two. Um, but as I said, HelloFresh, you can have it just for one and save the other one for another night. But just look, this is all just a tray bake. You don't need any other saucepans. And I'm now going to have this in here. Look how cosy this is, Mert. Look how cosy. Yes, we're having our nice late supper. And then to bed. Hello everybody, I have no idea how much of me you can see. I am about to go out to a party and it is with my old boss who I owe a huge amount to because he employed me at BBC London. Um, when I left BBC Brighton, he offered me a job at BBC London and, um, and I've worked at BBC London for, gosh, I think almost 20 years. I mean, I think it's almost 20 years. He is <clears throat> no longer editor there. 
but he um he just was very loyal to me and i owe him really i owe him my lifestyle you know because i i've had steady employment at bbc london and um anyway i'm going over now he has he and his wife you may know his wife because she often comes on um retreats and things there's a whole group of us and she is one of them um in fact we're going to austria in february lou and i she was in kenya anyway um with us so i'm going over to their new house which is in hertfordshire and um it's going to be quite a long drive but do you know i love driving i love driving i've got on by the way my bon point french dress uh my tory birch earrings and my very old um browns not browns sorry joseph uh coat camel coat but it's just so useful camel coats are so useful Anyway, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to vlog there or not. The reason being there are going to be people there who are quite high profile. Uh, Tony Blackburn is one. And I'm, I love Tony. He is a mate. And I'm sure he won't mind. But I'm going to ask. I don't just want to walk in with a vlogging camera. <clears throat> but he might. Um, I'm pretty sure he will. Um, but anyway. Um, I'm going to get going. It's freezing. Oh, girl, you've got to vlog. You've got to be hello on her. This is where he is. Everyone's been going, where is Robert Helms? Here He's I here am. in this I'm amazing here. house. He's there. Oh, look. Mm. That's the thumbnail, everybody. This is the hostess Ooh. with the mostess. Do you know, this is the lovely warm house oh, as well. What's bizarre is, you wait, you've got an almost identical dress on to Christina. Damn it. I, I got it first. I Send to me, are you wearing that? I know. To look. Then, you got it. You me. had that up your sleeve. Why didn't I get the memo? I know. I this, don't know, but she said when she saw this dress, she went, "Will you be wearing that to Lou and Dave?" So I, I went, yes. "And then I looked, and she hates being on camera." Wardrobe was it? And I, I said, "Shall I wear this?" I didn't wear my ankle socks. I should have worn well, my ankle I'm, socks. I'm completely. I haven't even got shoes on. Look at my little girl. No, but oh, I love these. I love these, and I got those socks you gave me in that sort of oh colour. Well, not in that colour, in a lighter colour. Where are these shoes from? They were. They're. They were. I've had them about six years. Avril Girl and. Oh, they're. Are they dance shoes? No, she used to design. For Hello, Mimi. Me. Really? And where's your dress from? This is this is pre-loved. Um, it's a second-hand one. It's beautiful. It's very simple. It's poplin. Look, at, we look like we look like, we look like we're at school. This is the man to whom I owe literally my life. Yes, literally, literally, literally your favourite word. <laughs> this man uh, took the risk of employing me um, when I left Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because I wrote to you, I think, every week for about a year. No, it's because you begged me on your knees at the Gillard Awards. <laughs> that could be misconstrued. Yes. Yes. I was on my well. knees in front of him. This is the man, this is the man who brought me back to London, basically. Gave me the lifestyle to which I'm now accustomed. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of the evening with Tony Blackburn. How many hours have you been on air well, today? What time is it now? I don't know. I've, I've done seven hours on the air. He truly has. I was up since three o'clock and now it's quarter to 11, I think. And his show will follow my show tomorrow, <laughs> actually. So we've still got hours of broadcasting left in us, Tony. We certainly have, actually, yes. <laughs> You're a bit fresher than I. What time did you get up this morning? So I was up at seven. Seven? Yeah, but you, you had were... a lie in. Have you still got that <laughs> dog that lives next door? Yes, Brooke. She comes in every, every breakfast. There's a woof, woof, woof at about quarter to nine. She comes in, has a biscuit, I have porridge, and we're both very happy. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. It is now midnight. I'm on the M1, driving back to Marylebone. It was a fantastic night. And, um... I don't know if you can see me. This camera's doing a really weird thing. If I turn this light on, oh no, that's illegal, isn't it? Anyway, hope.
hopefully you can um, you can see me. If not, you can hear me. Um, yeah, it was a lovely night. Do you know it's weird because it's only now I got in the car and I was thinking it was a great, lovely group of people. I was the only single person. Everyone is there in couples. And I'm the only one that gets in my car and drives home on my own. But you know I love that. This is, I love this as much as being out. I love driving at night. I turn the radio off because I wanted to talk to you. But usually the radio would be on. And I just love, I've always loved driving. And the M1, Gosh, the first motorway really I ever drove on. Anyway, what's lovely is I'm going back to Myrtle. I'm going to take my makeup off and get into bed and have a look and see how many people are watching my Vlogmas. You've no idea, you see. In Vlogmas, it's a, it's a big ask to get all of you to watch every vlog because I know people are busy and I don't, you know, the people I follow I don't know whether I'd watch them in fact I don't watch them every vlogmas I don't watch them every day so if you are following me I'm, I'm really happy if you just watch every couple of days but if you watch every day because I love making these films I absolutely love my YouTube channel getting very sentimental. I haven't even had a drink. All I had was an elderflower water. Anyway, I better turn this off. Concentrate. Coming up to Brent Cross. Dear old Brent Cross.